What's up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gemin. Today, I want to talk about comic book manufacturing errors, so stay tuned. Alright guys, as a collector, I've always been the kind of guy who liked to have every version of something. Like Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man number one, I wanted the regular version. I wanted the black, the gold, the platinum, the chromium. You know, I just like to have every variation of something. So, CGC manufacturing errors kind of interest me because sometimes it'll change up the whole background and just give the book a whole different look. Well, I want to talk about a couple different books here and I want to talk about kind of like a beef I have or like an understanding as to why... Some manufacturing labels get one type of label and some get another. The first book I want to talk about is Venom Lethal Protector Number 1. It came out with a regular foil background cover. Everybody owned one as a kid. Everybody who brings in a 90s collection asks if it's worth anything. And funny enough, it never was until the Venom movie came out and it started to heat up. Anyway, 9.8s are plentiful. Then they had a retailer incentive with the gold foil cover, which I really liked. And that one was a little bit more valuable, but it still wasn't anything crazy. Then I found out about the Black Error Lethal Protector number one. This comic book was printed and something happened when the red foil was supposed to be applied and it didn't get applied and it kept an all black background. Now you can still see like kind of red around the Venom logo and around Lethal Protector. So it's not clean. But from a glance or from, you know, putting it on the shelf, it looks like a Venom 1 Lethal Protector with a black background. Super dope. Uh, the CGC Census has graded 228 Black Error Lethal Protector number 1s. What's also interesting about this book, since it was a hardbound, cardboard type cover, it's more prone to be graded in higher grade. There are actually two CGC 10, Gem Mint 10s, and one 9.9. .9, and then they have 72 9.8s. But three Black Errors... Two, one, two tens and one 9.9. .9. I think that's awesome. I took a look at GPA to see if any have sold in those grades. And sure enough, there was a Gemmin 10 sold way back in February of 2010. And it sold for $3,585 nine years ago. Put it this way, a 9.8 Black Error label sold for $3,550 in June of 2019. So imagine what that 10 would go for right now. In addition to the Black label, there is also a White Error Venom Lethal Protector number one. That's because the red foil covers were printed on this black background, but those retailer incentives, those gold versions, were printed on white backgrounds. So this one came out all white, kind of same deal as Lethal Protector. You could even see worse in this one, uh, the gold foil that was supposed to be on the Venom and on the Lethal Protector. Now, this one is a little bit more rare than that black label. CGC Census shows that there are only two in existence. One of them is a 9.6, and one of them is a 9.8. So that is a crazy rare book. I don't even think there has been any sales with that. No, no recorded sales of any of those white lethal protector number ones. That's crazy. Here goes one more example of a Spider-Man foil cover. I didn't know this existed until I went you know, looking for, for pictures for this video. But this was a web of Spider-Man 100, that first appearance of like the spider armor, kind of like an ASM 300 cover, but it had the green foil background. Well, there is a white error label like this. I couldn't find a high grade picture, but I found an 8.0 here. I think I found a couple higher ups, like 8.5s, but they weren't really good looking pictures. Now here's what's odd, and this is a good segue into the next book I'm going to talk about. The Venom Lethal Protectors got a regular, unrestored blue label. Same with this Web of Spider-Man 100. However, when I'm looking at GPA sales, there was a 9.6 qualified green label that says manufacturing error that sold for $290. Now, blue label, like I said, it means unrestored. Nobody tampered with it. Well, you could press it, but... Nobody physically altered the book in a permanent way, I guess is a better way to say it. It's just, yeah, that's the most sought after from collectors, that or signature series. Anyway, I'm going to do a whole video on this. The green label means that you tampered with it. You didn't restore it, but you could have like married a, a centerfold from another of the same book into this book. It means it could have been signed without a CGC witness, so we'll grade it and not hurt the grade that somebody wrote on the book, but we'll give it a green label and we'll say name written on cover because we wasn't there to see so-and-so sign your book. We, we're not going to vouch for that. They also have a 9.6 blue label that says printing error and it sold for $420. Now, spawn number one. I recently did a top 20 keys for spawn number one. I didn't include this book in there. I wanted to, but I didn't discuss it. 
Spawn number one also had a printing error where the black layer didn't go on there. So Spawn doesn't have any black around his letters. You can see that there's no issue number in the top left box corner. And I think the front also lacks another depth of uh, shadowing. Anyway, the Spawn one gets a green label every time, manufacturing error. It never gets a blue label unrestored. And I just don't understand what the difference is between not putting the black layer or not putting the foil layer. It really makes this book a lot less sought after, in my opinion. I feel like if they would give this thing a blue label, it would be the Spawn number one to own. So the CGC census doesn't give it its own census. It's chalking all these up in the qualified area where it shows you how many were graded for the regular Spawn number one. So qualified is saying 183. Now that doesn't mean they're all manufacturing errors. It could be ones that Todd signed without a CGC witness and then somebody got graded or whatever 183 as far as sales as far as sales this is crazy we have one sale in 2015 for two thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars we have a sale february 27th of 2018 for 1700 the last sale august 17th 2018 250 dollars let's check the cert number on that yeah man manufactured with uneven black ink on cover so that thing went for over 2,000 and 1,700, and now the last sale was 250. Dang. <laughs> I wish I would have picked it up. But I don't understand why it has a green label. Maybe somebody in the comments that's smarter than me can let us know why. There are other examples, but these are just ones that I wanted to highlight. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. Like I said, I've been dealing with slabs for probably the last five years or so, and there's a lot of stuff I learned along the way through the CGC forums, through Facebook groups, through Instagram. So we're just sharing knowledge. It might be common knowledge to some, and it might be new for others. But anyway, let me know what you think. Hit that like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and stay minty fresh. Peace.